today we talk about. Did you watch my commentary? Uh, oh, so explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this, I gotta, is, this is pretty self explanatory. <laughs> so I gotta tell you guys, uh, Zach here's a special breed. Uh, he's like, oh, I, he makes yeah, I'm these. white. Yeah, so, so just to put it in perspective, Zach makes these esoteric YouTube videos, which you should check out on his channel. What Zach the hell does Brent's esoteric name? mean? It means it's out there. Yeah, right? it's out there. It's not very, uh, it's not very uh, mainstream, which is his fantasy, right? And uh, it's his, uh, it's his. Uh, I like making them. Yeah, it's his fantasy world. Uh, his or not fantasy world? What's the word? It's like your, your you not utopia. It's like your happy Anus. place. Your happy place. Yeah, there you go. And um, and so you make these esoteric videos that I've sat and had to watch these with you eight nine <laughs> times, right? Anytime I come over. I watch them myself all the exactly. time. I'm doing it for and me. You, and you love it. You do it for you. Yeah. Later in the day, great. But the point is, they are very much. They're odd. Odd and just they don't make sense in terms of like they need an explanation. Unless you're like one of these pure avant-garde artists where you're just like you take your own interpretation for it. But yeah, unless you're intelligent. Like, yeah. And <laughs> even then it's like kind of a stretch. So then you had this bright idea to uh, <laughs> record commentary over your own video. I've only done for one, and but yeah. You only did I made Joanna watch it and she got so mad. She was like, this is so <laughs> retarded. She was like, if you say juxtaposition one more time. Oh, here great, we go, yeah. here we go. My favorite part though was watching it and in the middle of his various commentary of this already esoteric production, he just goes, all right, this part is self-explanatory. He's just like, why'd you make a commentary then? Well, it like, wasn't either. <laughs> no, that was, that was. Yeah, so, so this, part, uh, uh, this part is self-explanatory, moving on, and uh, yeah, this part too. And, uh, yeah, so I was like, all right, well, this is great. Um, but uh, Kitty no, Cat Productions. But uh, did you change it to that? Is that the channel name now? Yeah. All right, done. Kenny Cat Production, check it out. We'll leave a link in the description if I remember. Um, yeah, for um, you, Mullen. <laughs> the only person that'll watch but, this. <laughs> but no, really, to, to reference back what, what I wanted to talk about, 11 out of 11. So 11 out of 11 was this project you and I embarked on, what was it, last year now? It was like almost was a like year ago? A year and a half at least. A year and a half ago? Yeah. And uh, it was these short segment um, YouTube videos. Well, podcasts slash SoundCloud. SoundCloud? Yeah, SoundCloud and YouTube you started to do that um, was basically single They're topics. They are mostly YouTube. Single They're topics, YouTube. and we did our top six of any set topic. Movies, and and would books. have a guest. Not books. Not no. all the time, but uh, we would have yeah, guests. Sometimes we'd have a guest, and then they would have a top six, and then we kind of worked it out. I but we, we, kept, we kept it, uh, it had to be 11 minutes and 11 seconds, right. and then we cut it off. Right. And, uh, and I thought it was a great Which concept, but unfortunately it was abandoned. Maybe someday we'll uh, revisit it. Yeah, I had to go to work. That'd be nice. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't paying the bills. I was like, wow, a nickel this month. Not yet, it wasn't. But I said a nickel. That's that, that's how <laughs> this thing started. They start on pay. They test you to see do you really enjoy making this stuff? Do you really enjoy stand up? And if you do, hopefully it pays dividends in the end. You know. Yeah, but I mean, I I, uh, I don't I like turning yeah it's hobbies it's into, the whole into drum, work. Exactly, it's the whole drums of it that kind of kill everybody. Otherwise, everyone would do this shit, right? Otherwise, everyone would. Uh, well, no, people aren't as funny or smart as me. So not everyone. That's my it. point. You could actually make it through to the other side because you have the talent, but because you're bothered by this barrier of ugh, then you're you just you lose out. Yeah, work. I, I it's a drag. Work. But it, listen, my 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 fellowship position was not fun. Well, here we go. Like I battled through it to like keep this up. Yeah, you know? to make a joke about you being a doctor. But like that's, that's why I did that's it. That's not where it came from. Yeah, so that's like, I need to but I am getting tired of the, the doctor jokes too. Although I feel like that's dude. I, I I honestly don't know how you can do like literally. I I can't keep doing jokes that I've done in the past. I just get you so get bored. Over it, you get over. It. I know. Because at first I was the same way. I was like, "There's no way the same crowd is here from Iowa. They all have heard the joke once." No, it's not even that. I just get bored of saying it. I don't know how that's possible because you haven't even mastered the joke yet. I know, you're but I'm just like, all right, moving words, on. You're still forgetting parts. You're still rushing your wordings. So like, you haven't even perfected the wow. joke. Wow. Do you have any comments about my penis, though? <laughs> you dick. And you haven't because of that. It's just like, how is he? How are you bored already? You know. What I mean? Because that's I just get name. bored. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm not trying to like do it for a living. I, I could, guess, but yeah. then I would put like a lot of people out of jobs. Yeah, you're so noble. You're so noble. All comedians. All right, what's comedians. your next question? Uh, it's not really a question. It's just revisiting 11 out of 11 and the work ethic of consistency with podcasting or anything creative these days. It's just like you have to be consistent to make it happen. Yeah, I agree. You know? And if you're not with it, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah. It ain't what it ain't. You know? Not a question, but... Uh, <laughs> 
Good job, Thanks, Mom. <laughs>